One of the most exciting days in my life was the day I got married. Okay. Today I'll never forget. Met the woman of my dreams. She agreed to marry me. I don't think she knew me at the time. But she agreed to marry me and we have started our lives together. Another fantastic day I'll always remember is the day my son was born. This tiny little squashed up ugly thing. And yes, he was ugly when he was born. Eh? There was just like mush all over him and his face was crinkled. And I remember when they pulled him out of my wife's stomach, I was like, oh my word, what have you done? Like this thing looks gross. But it was such a special day. They were married and the day my son was born. Unfortunately, with the woman, and with the child came expenses. And so every single month, I've got to look at a budget and say, sure, how much money is coming in and how much money is going out? And this segment, we are going to look at something called family budget. So we're going to start off straight away by looking at an example. So here's an example. A household has the following monthly expenses. They pay rent every month of 2,300 Rand. Transport, 520 Rand. Cell phone, 200 Rand. Prepaid electricity, 800 Rand. Water bill, 350 Rand. A TV contract, 250 Rand. A loan repayment, 310 Rand. Furniture store account, 570 Rand. Clothing store account, 315 Rand. Groceries, 2,500. Medical expenses, 75 Rand. Okay. So this family has an ex uh, amount of money that they've got to pay every single month. Okay. And this is for one month here. Whoa, that's a lot of money they're paying out. Let's go on. It now says this. They live on the following monthly income. A state pension of 1,140 Rand, a disability grant of 1,140 Rand, and a salary of 5,250 Rand. This month, one of the children falls ill, and they have additional medical expenses of 500 Rand for doctor's visits and medication. Now, draw up an income and expense account for the household for this month. So we've drawn this up. Here shows all our income and all our expenses. Okay, first thing, let's have a look at this income. I'd like to believe there are three adults living in this household. Why? Because there are three different um, sorts of income coming in. There's a state pension of 1,140 Rand and you are not going to get a state pension if you're earning a salary. So there's a salary. That's why I think there are at least two different people living in this house. And then there's a disability grant. So you're not going to get that grant if you're still earning. So I'd like to believe there are three different people living in this house. One getting a pension of 1,140 Rand, one getting a disability grant of 1,140 Rand, and one working, and he gets 5,250 Rand. So let's write all this in here. So the state pension is income, and we're paying 1,140 Rand. There's a disability grant of 1,140 Rand. And then there's a salary of 5,250 Rand. That is my only income. All this other stuff here, folk, is going to be my expenses. So I'm not going to put it under my income column. I'm going to put it under my expense column. Okay, the first expense I'm going to look at is this one here, so I don't forget. There's an additional medical expense of 500 Rand-ish. Someone in the family got very sick. 
They had to go to a doctor, they had to get medicine, and it cost 500 rand more than what they normally pay. What did they normally pay for medical expenses? Let's have a look here. Medical expenses, 75 rand. But now we're paying 75 rand plus 500. Okay, why plus 500? Because it says additional. It doesn't say that month the medical expenses were 500. It says that month there was additional expenses. So we're paying the 75, but now we've also got to pay 500. So how much are we paying? 500 plus 75 is 575. And folk, I'm writing that this side. Why? Because it's an expense. Okay, the rest of the stuff, it should be pretty straightforward. Let's write it all down. Okay, so rent, 2,300 rand. Transport, 520. So 2,300, let's write that in there straight away. Rent, 2,500. Cool. And what else did we say? Sorry, 2,300. Let's change that straight away, 2,300. Otherwise, our books are not going to balance, are they? Okay, so 2,300, our transport was 520 rand, okay, for that month. All right, what other expenses did we have? Cell phone, 200, electricity, 800. So we've put all these in. Cell phone, 200. Prepaid electricity, 800. Other expenses. Water, 350. TV, 250. Water, 350. TV, 250. Cool. We're fully all the stuff. We can't leave anything out. Hey? If we leave anything out, our books are not going to balance. So we got to say, hey, this is how much money we're actually spending. Right, let's go. Loan repayment, 310 Rand. Furniture, 570. So 310 and 570. Two more to go. Here we, let's have a look at it. Clothing, 315, groceries, 2,500. Right, so 315 and groceries, 2,500. Okay, now we need to look at our totals. How are we going to look at these totals? Folk, we're just going to add up the different columns. Let's see what our total coming in is for our income. And guys, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let my calculator do that because these are like lots of numbers and eh? my brain is just not going to cope with it. So I've got 1,140 Rand. To that, I'm going to add 1,140 Rand. To that, I'm going to add 5,250 Rand. And I get 7,530. 7,530. Now, I've got to add up all my expenses. Now, folk, please, I hope my expenses are not going to be more than 7,530. Because if they are, I've got a problem. I want my income always to be more than my expenses. So let's add up all these expenses, shall we? We had 2,300. We also had 520. We also had 200 Rand. We also had 800 Rand. We also had 350. To that, we've got to add 250. Our loan repayment was 310. Uh, 570 Rand for our furniture account that we have. 315 Rand for my wife's dress. 2,500 Rand for the groceries. And then that horrible extra medical bill of 575 Rand. Okay, we add all that up and we get 8,690. 8,690 Rand. Folk, I have a huge problem, huge problem. Look at my income, 
Look at my expense. If I've got money coming in, I can give money out. But if the money coming in is not as much as the money going out, guys, if I don't have money to give out, I can't just make it. I can't just go to a photocopying machine, put in a 10 rand note and just print, print off and say, make me 4,000 copies. Because if we could do that, geez, I'd be at a printer every single day. You've got to actually work for your money and that money's got to come in. This household has a huge problem. Okay, let's read some of the questions that come up. What is the total difference between the income and the expenses? Okay, so let's find the difference. Out comes this calculator because it's such a beautiful thing. And we say, right, on my calculator, 8,690 minus 7,530 Rand equals 1,160. So my difference is 1,160. Unfortunately, it's not a nice difference because that's how much money I don't have that I've got to have. Okay, so what's my next question? My next question goes on to say, which costs could be reduced in the budget? And if those costs were reduced, what would the, would the family have enough money to cover their expenses? Okay, so let's have a look here. We've got all these costs. Here they are over here, the whole lot. What can we reduce? Right, rent we can't reduce. We got to pay our rent, right? You can't suddenly say, you know what, this month, oh, is we're not paying rent. We've got to pay it. It's got to happen, okay? Transport 520 Rand. People, the only time we can reduce that transport is if it includes trips just for the fun of it. Okay, if we suddenly say, you know what, we bored, let's get on a bus and let's just go for a drive. But generally, transport's just for essential things like getting to work and stuff. So I'm not too sure if we can reduce that. Cell phone 200, aha, now here is a place we could reduce our expenses if we're not on a contract. If we're on a contract and the contract says you pay 200 Rand every month, we cannot reduce that contract. What we can do though, if it's prepaid, then we can say, you know what, let's not make so many calls this month. Let's not get down. So I'm going to put a big question mark here next to the 200. Prepaid electricity, 800. Ah, there's another area we can reduce, eh? Not leave our lights on all the time, okay? Maybe we don't have to have that geezer on all day. We can switch it off in the morning and at night, just before we bath, turn it on so that we're reducing that electricity bill. Maybe what we can do is put the kettle on. When it's boiled, we pour that hot water into a flask. So every time we want to make tea, we open the flask, we've got hot water. We don't have to keep putting the kettle on and boiling and boiling and boiling and boiling. Maybe we can reduce the amount of time that we spend cooking. Okay, Eat easier meals that cook a lot quicker. So that's a definite way we can save money. Water 350, absolutely, folk. Instead of having this deep bath, let's have a much shallower bath, okay? Or instead of spending 20 minutes in the shower, let's just go and spend a minute or two minutes in that shower. We can really reduce that. So that's another area. TV contract, it's a contract. You have to pay the contract, okay? The contract means you're going to pay a certain amount for a period of time. You can't just suddenly start paying it. That has to stay as it is. Loan repayments. If you've taken a loan, you got to pay it. You can't suddenly say, I'm not going to pay it this month. Furniture store account. You've got to pay that furniture store. You can't suddenly say, this month we're not paying you. You've got to do it. Clothing account. Got to pay the clothing account. But what I will say is this. For your furniture and store, your store account and your clothing account you could actually pay that off so in months to come you won't have a furniture store account and in months to come you won't have such a high clothing account all right but currently gotta pay it can't change it groceries ah here's one we can look at mm. 
what are you putting in that grocery a trolley when you go shopping? Okay. Are you loading it with chocolates and chips and sweets and things that are luxuries? Okay. Maybe we can reduce that. Instead of buying expensive white bread, maybe we can buy the cheaper brown bread, which is actually more healthy for you anyway. Okay. Maybe instead of saying, sure, I'm going to buy lots of sugar, I can buy a little packet of sugar and reduce the amount of sugar that I'm putting in my tea or over my porridge. So what are we buying? Maybe that's an area we can change. Medical expenses, unfortunately, folk, we couldn't change that this month. We've got to pay 75 Rand every month. Maybe we belong to a special scheme where we're paying that 75 Rand a month, but this month there was something urgent. We had to pay another 500 Rand. So when we look at that, for this budget, there's very little we can reduce but we can reduce amount. So if our cell phone dropped down to 100 Rand instead of 200, okay, I'm gonna use yellow here. Let's say we change that to 100 Rand. Prepaid electricity, let's say we drop that to 600. Water, let's say we drop this now down to 200, okay? Our groceries, maybe we can drop it down to 2,000. When we look at that, here we'll be saving 500 Rand. Okay, let's go back to another nice, bright, wonderful color. In fact, I'm going to use that color. Let's say here we're saving 500 Rand, 200, we're saving 150 Rand, 600, we're saving 200 Rand, 100, we're saving another 100 Rand. That's five, six, seven, eight. 950 Rand. How much were we over? Remember we looked at it and we said we were over by, what was that, uh, 1,000 and something. We managed to save an another 950, not quite what we wanted to save, okay, because we got to get make that extra 1,000. We only managed 900, but maybe we need to tweak it a bit, knock our groceries down a little bit more. Okay, knock our water bill down a bit, not use as much electricity. Maybe one month if we got a prepaid cell phone, we say, folk, we're not using a cell phone this month, eh? We can't afford it. It's not happening. <gasps> Could you imagine that? If you're a teenager and you can't have your cell phone, <gasps> you're going to go into cardiac arrest. Then the medical bill will even be higher. So maybe that's not such a good idea. Okay, we're coming to the end of our segment. Let's just recap here very quickly. We are going to say summary. In this segment, we covered the following. We looked at how to set up a family budget. All right, lots of little questions came up. Nice, if you get a question like this in your matric exam, you'll know exactly what to do. We're going to take an air break, and I'll chat to you after this.